Hi guys, welcome back. So, as some of you might know, Lisa and I are together for a few days crafting and shopping. And um, so I shared my haul over on her channel, Sirius Hecka, and I'll make sure I put the link below. And this is Lisa's haul that we're gonna be sharing here on my channel. Make sure you check out uh, Lisa's channel though, she's getting really close to another subby goal. So pop over there and hit that subscribe button and help her reach her goal. Okay, Lisa, what did you get? Too much. Um, I got paper pads because, you know, I have hardly any in my stash at all. That's a joke. Um, <laughs> but these were, everything except the hot buys, these were buy one, get one free. Uh, buy one, get one half off. My bad. Um, so this is just actual paper. It's 180 sheets, and I'm just going to do it quick because this is not a new pad. I actually have this one, but I've pretty much gutted the thing because there's so much that you can use um, just because it's not cardstock is why I like it. So it's nice, eh, for lack of a better term, filler paper, but with some interest. So um, just kind of random paper, but it'll blend into just about everything. So there's that one. And again, that was 180 sheets of that. And then this one was new. I have not seen this, um, but this is Edge of the World by Re Recollections. And basically it's all maps or travel related, um, but mostly maps. And I view maps kind of the same way, sorry, that I do music because um, you can integrate them so easily into a lot of different journals. So like that one's kind of mosaic, which I liked. Um, so yeah, just really pretty maps. And to get half off of these, you know, this one I thought was kind of cool. But in case you haven't seen this one, because I certainly haven't, you can get a bit of an idea what's inside here. So anyway, love that. Mm -hmm. I like the shading in that too and kind of graphic a little bit. Um, so yeah, there's that one. That was cool too. Okay, so there's the two paper pads. Um, and then I got just kind of random stuff. I saw these um, and they're actually card sets. Um, so card and envelopes. Of course I can use the envelopes, but what I was particularly particularly drawn to was the cards because these were like mats. So I thought about cutting it or maybe not cutting it slipping a picture or something in behind and then affixing this to the front of a journal just for some interest. Mm -hmm. Something different. So I got those and then I found one of these do-it-yourself um, sugar skulls and yes I have paints and I have metallic markers and I may use the metallic markers but I also got some honestly some really nice uh, pencil sets color pencils metallic charcoal at Dollar Tree um, and I got three different sets and they are great pencils for the price so maybe a mixture of the markers and the pencils on this I don't know and then Dawn saw this it slipped my attention um, so it's Recollections uh, Halloween paper pad and I thought it was vellum which is why I didn't pay much attention and I did not that's all right. We'll just do it like this. Um, so it's actually on acetate, which is super cool because I have a lot of ideas for this. Actually, some pretty cool ideas. Um, so, you know, perfectly see-through and just really, really neat. So I found that. I picked this up just because I'm changing out um, the top of my altar for Halloween, so that's perfect. I found a stencil too, like Dawn did. This one with the swirls, I do have a big 12 by 12 with it, but sometimes you just want a little bit of interest in a smaller area on a page. I thought that was perfect. So I got that. And I got some extra strength uh, craft bond glue sticks. These are permanent. These were 20% off and they were three, either $3.49 or $3.99 and I got them for like $3.04 each, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I too, once Dawn said she found these for $9, I said, oh, I got those. 
but I looked closer and I did not have this one. So this is the one with the kind of doily scalloped edge and nine bucks, you can't beat it. Um, so I got that. And then I got some paints because I do my um, fabric covered journals and I paint. So I got a brushed metal, um, this is brushed silver. Inadvertently, I picked up chalk, so I'll probably end up using this as just like a base coat. Um, I am doing that green witch journal right now, so I got a couple more shades of green to play with. This one is just green, and then this one is hunter green. I got those. I got a gray. Um, again, this is a brushed metal too, so it'll have a slight sheen. Um, just a, a purple. This is eggplant or aubergine. And then this I had never seen, and it is called Pure Artist Pigment. So this is an acrylic, but this is that real, and I'm going to butcher the name because I am not a painting artist, dioxazine um, purple. And it's super, super vivid. So I'm anxious to play with that too. A um, couple of little fun Halloween sort of related things, but something that I have little projects in mind for. Um, I got these little bottles. Um, all of these have removable tops. This one just says Evil Eye Potion, and it's got the plastic stopper in it, so that's kind of cool. This one, Genuine Bone Powder, again, plastic stopper. And then this one had a cork, and it says Bottled Magic, no guarantee with a stopper. <laughs> um, and then I got myself another glass because the one I had last year broke, and this one just says Feeling Wicked because, you know, hey, it's almost Halloween and I liked it. And then I got this pumpkin, and he was $29.99, but I got 40% off of him, and I just thought he'd look super cool with a candle lit up sit in my front window. So that's it. That's what I got. Um, don't spend more than me <laughs> at Michael's, <laughs> which is surprising, but she bought a lot of paper pads. So anyway, so we're having fun, um, and tomorrow... We're going to be heading back to our respective homes, but we just wanted to share a little bit of our fun that we were having, what we did today. So we will catch you another time. Okay. Bye, Bye. guys.